Hey everyone, this is DCSG81. Welcome back to my channel. Today I will be doing a, a review, which is um, also my first review uh, on a figure that I have recently purchased, which um, you can see is the uh, Diamond Select, the real Ghostbuster Slimer. It is one of my favorite uh, character in the Ghostbuster cartoon uh, during the uh, I think it's around the eighties. So I is he's funny and um, he's always hungry and I find find him to be very very uh, hilarious. So I decided to get this one when I I saw it in a local shop in my country. So let's take a closer look at the packaging so the package is um, huge as you can see so here's the Ghostbuster logo and here's the back of it um, if you want to have a read you can actually pause the video now okay so it has uh, three interchangeable face this this must be the hungry face and this is the uh, happy face and uh, this is the angry face and we have uh, Egon and Winston here so at the same time it also comes with a piece of a uh, diorama it's the uh, Ghostbuster headquarter uh, building which I find it very uh, detailed so I was actually interested to uh, collect it, I mean to complete it and I was thinking mm, maybe you just need to collect the 4 Ghostbuster character plus the Slimer and then you can build the, uh, the diorama but I was very wrong because you can see here collect or 15 figures to build the firehouse door which is this one so you need to buy 15 figures which I'm not going to so this is crazy so I will unbox it right now So right here, we can see there's a booklet that says there is a licensed product from Diamond Select Toys, um, Ghostbusters. And there's a piece of instruction book where you, it teaches you how to build the, uh, the diorama. Um, this is this. It has some parts for you to build it. And as you can see, mine have a little paint chip here. I need this much, which is um, very unfortunate, but it's okay. I'm not going to use it anyway. Okay, so this is the figure, and it's also come with a stand, a clear stand for the slimer because he's always floating around. Okay, so let's get it out of the box. Okay. So this is um, Slimer out of the box together with the stand behind that. So let's take a look at the figure itself. So it looks pretty detailed and it has some weight. It's pretty heavy. It's, it doesn't feel like a cheap plastic or anything but it, it feels pretty... Um, there seems to be like a, like a stone <laughs> so from here the arm has uh, articulation you can turn 360 degrees and you can see there's a you can actually do the 
arms to go up and down okay. and there's a joint here as well but you can't go all the way because it will be blocked so there's only turning here and the hand you can turn 360 okay same goes for this side so i would say it's a pretty good range of uh, articulation for the arms okay and unfortunately for the head you can't really turn much it's fixed because you need to take it off to change the different expression okay okay so this is um, a little bit of a bad design here as you can see can't really close the gap for this particular face hmm. yeah can't be done maybe I just need to push this out a little okay okay yeah it can be done now so you just need to put this push this piece of plastic out a little and then you can go all the way in Let's take a look to the next face, the angry one. Okay, this one doesn't seem to have that problem. So it can close up pretty well. And there's a hole here it's for the, the the joint, the stand to pack it in. Okay, so the figure itself yep it can stand on its own although it slanted to the side a little but um, it's best to let it float because it's a ghost anyway so earlier on i have tried on this stand it seems to be a little too weak because it can't really hold the slimer weight and seems yeah now it seems to be fine but as you can see it's, it's actually wobbling doesn't seem to be very stable and it will fall anytime the stand itself um, is pretty good because it is one of those that you can actually you know um, if you don't want it to be that long you can I mean it's comes in parts so you can actually customize it to be shorter if you want right, let's say for example I'll try this uh, yeah probably when is shorter then it will be better okay so it's a pretty cool stand that allows you to actually um, customize the, the height and uh, yeah now it seems to be better okay so this is slimer take a closer look again the paint job is pretty well done although there is there isn't any shading on it and um, the accessory wise yeah they could have give um, maybe some food because he likes to eat and um, yeah but I think the three faces here is is good enough. I mean, they are fun, as you can see. It's enough for us to recreate many uh, funny scenes with Slimer together. So, um, my final verdict is um, 
I'll give it probably a 7.5 out of 10 uh, It's not a bad figure Just that um, it's a simple figure And uh, if you are a Ghostbuster fans I think you should get this And yep, so it's pretty good Okay, so uh, As for the, the building, there isn't much I can say about because it's just a uh, part of it. It's not the complete. Maybe I can just uh, let my Spider-Man hang on it. <laughs> Other than that, I don't see much of a use for it. But it's a pretty good plastic. So I think that's all for my video today. I hope you enjoy it, and uh, and uh, let me know what do you think about this figure. And if you like my video, please click on like. And uh, if you dislike it, let me know what happened. <laughs> I mean, is there anything that I did wrong or you want to see more? Uh, other than that, uh. Oh yeah, I, I think I miss out and uh, my usual style is the pro, pros and cons so the pros of this figure is uh, I think the likeness of Slimer is there pretty much uh, with the faces is pretty much remind me of my childhood Slimer and um, the other pros is it has certain weight and it feels it doesn't feel like a cheap plastic so it's pretty good and uh, then the articulation is it's very good for the arm surprisingly and uh, the only cons that uh, I have is you can't turn the head and also there isn't much accessories yep. and uh, Shading, I think you don't need shading for a ghost Yeah, maybe if you are a person who likes shading then yeah, but for me, I think this looks pretty good And the details of the sculpture of the body is pretty well done As you can see, it's quite detailed So other than that, I think this is very good Okay That's all for my re review video today Thank you very much and uh, I hope you enjoy it. Um, please subscribe to my channel if you like my video and uh, I'll see you guys soon. Thank you. Goodbye.